is a half a million dollar charge for water on the floor. That was not me. <laughs> you tiny little mouse asshole. Good morning, welcome to today's video. We've been in Hoi An for two days now and haven't made any videos at all because we've had food poisoning. Yay, love Vietnam. It's like America, isn't it? I got food poisoning, then about eight hours later, you got food poisoning. Yeah. And then Lars was fine. Because Lawrence doesn't eat anything. And he doesn't drink anything. He got, we got on like a four hour ride and he's had like that much of it. He waffle. only eats cookies and Pringles. He is absolutely superhuman. He is also a dog. Dog stomach. Yes. Stronger dog stomach. Dog stomach. So we've been chilling out as much as we uh, possibly can. I won't go into details, but it was pretty nasty about food poisoning. We had custom made suits tailored. We That's were well the enough to do best that. Best thing we've done since it really, we've been here. It was amazing. <laughs> it really. We're feeling a lot better today. We're excited to ride and we're heading up into the mountains today to a place called Kamduk. I had to check that. Anyway, fairly flat, 70 miles until we get about 10 k's from the end and then some serious elevation up to our accommodation. Best job of the day is pumping up tires. And we need to find some chain lube. Mm. Bit noisy. Mm. <laughs> Amazing! So now we know we can stop in a place like whatever this is, a shop that sells everything, and they have oil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it there. But they put a crossing in, but you can't. They put a barrier as well. Pop your knees. Nice and cool today, man. Bit of a relief. I'm just happy to be out of the hotel room. Did not look like fun or sound like fun. We are really in the middle of nowhere now. Everybody's so surprised to see us when we ride past the houses. Feeling about 70% of the way better. The food poisoning did knock me for six a little bit. Spent most of the time in Hoi An in the hotel room, bar getting a suit, as we just said. On the plus side, lost some weight. Hopefully I feel a bit better as we uh, get some food in and just take this ride a little bit easier than the others. Luckily, it's perfect temperature. And luckily, we've got a tailwind. We are now on this road all the way to the end, so about 40 miles to go. Absolutely beautiful around here. Have a look at this. It's like we've been living in like some form of horrible nightmare. And all of a sudden we've arrived in Vietnam. <laughs> but the nightmare of tourist city, yeah. Da Nang and Hoi An. Hoi An was great, and so was Hue. But some of the middle cities and middle towns, just a bit grim really, weren't they? Don't you remember in America, like the best part of America was being in the absolute wilderness, yeah. where there was nobody there, you couldn't see. Like we were in places where it was 20 miles to a human being in, in either direction. Um, and I kind of, I suspect it's kind of going to be the same here. The best bits of it will be in the middle of nowhere. So, ladies and gentlemen of KTV, I give you nowhere in Vietnam. What did he say? Uh, we're going back this way. We've had a bit of an impasse. We're going back this way and right. We lost the other guys because we got chased by dogs. So I outrun the dogs and, uh, well, now the others are probably getting chased by dogs. Did you get chased by dogs? My cap's got mud on it. No, I didn't get chased by dogs. Because I am of their kind. Would you like one? Nah, I'm all right. Bikes are a bit dirty, aren't they? Snack? Yes. I'm going to try the crab. How about that? I'm tempted by a black packet of these. Yep. I reckon those are More friendly. More tasty. I have no means of carrying. Quite a big bag. That's the problem. So have either got a carry them or sit here and eat all of them. I think we need to find some reefers so we can actually get the munchies and then we'll get through a bag like that really quite quickly. I was having a conversation with a barman. Of course I was having a conversation with a barman, who else? An uh, Australian barman who's lived here for 20 years. We've been wondering why we've, we've ridden halfway across the country and halfway down the country and we've been saying thank you for things and people have been kind of looking at us with these strange expressions because they haven't understood what we're saying. This, Barman was basically saying that there are so many dialects throughout Vietnam, Vietnam that the pronunciation is vastly different. Inside of 20 miles, Camon for thank you and Camun for thank you could 
be, you know, they're, they're complete, they mean completely different things. Whereas you go into a restaurant in Japan and say, I don't go to much they, they, they'll know, they all know what you're talking about. Specific language here, isn't it? With a lot of accents. A lot of accents and very short words as well. Yeah, it's monosyllabic, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, it was a fly on you, sir. Spooky better. Touch me, bitch. Trying to organise our lunch stop. Because um, we've got the viewers can even see that. Basically, got a relatively flat ride until we hit about 50 miles, and the last 15 miles is just up, up into the mountains. Yes, nice. This has got to be the best ride so far. Oh man, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's stunning. How has it taken over two weeks to get to this point? Where? Because we've been going in between the cities. If yeah. you want to see the cities, you have to do the roads that we were on. If you sure. want to see the rest. I guess we could have done it straight out of Hanoi. Maybe. That's it, there's no more food. We're in the middle of nowhere and we won't see anything for two hours. And now we are hungry and it's lunchtime. At least you won't get food poisoning from out of it. <laughs> Look at it, absolutely beautiful. Look at this road. Look at those mountains. Nom nom nom. We just got chased by dogs again, me and James this time. Dogs are pegging it after us. We look back, see if Lawrence is in trouble, and they've just stopped and they just look at him. It's because he is actually a dog. Lawrence rode through them, no handed, bike wobbling all over the place, filming himself. One of his many useful skills in life. Just looked at the dogs as be, be at peace, my friends. I think we found a place for food. I think so, maybe. I think. Oh, they look good. What's that? Yeah. It's like that cracker thing. It's actually quite nice. It is, isn't it? Hmm. Good biscuit. <laughs> I actually enjoyed the biscuit and I don't think I could stomach proper food right now, so. I was just about to say, good. what a hearty meal that was. That was delicious. <sighs> Come on, <let's> <laughs> So a little chance to get some food in. Luckily we did because we haven't seen anything for quite a while now. We're about to hit the elevation. Fingers crossed it's not too steep. My stomach's still suffering a little bit. Can you hear karaoke? Yes, I can hear shit music, which usually means karaoke. James I mean, has had it with our drone shit, he's just, he's gone. No, I think more because he knows that we climb a little bit faster than him. So whilst we are messing about, which is basically what we're doing, he just thought he would uh, make the most of the time. Look how cute that cow is, look. Hey, that dog was so scary. The little scout dog. I told you we were getting chased. The little scout dog went and told his other mates and then they all started chasing us down the road. That was really close, they were right there. They can run really quick. They can. Not for very long, but no. really quick. If we were going uphill, we would have been fucked. <laughs> look, at the, look at the water. <laughs> it's just so incredible. Right. <laughs> I'm so glad it's not hot. Five miles to go, two more climbs. It basically means it's half an hour. Yeah. I'm climbing pretty slow. I feel a bit. I feel hungry though for the first time in a couple of days. Well, so that's you it's a good sign. Since breakfast. Yeah. So I haven't felt like I could. Top man. Dinner number one? Mine's oh, gone, mate. Just lunch. It was good. This is the dirtiest I've been on a bike for a long time. Shower is cold. 